This is the Techno Common 20 Pro 5G. It has an IP water and dust resistance rating. Interesting. It comes with a 120Hz Full HD AMOLED display, a 5000mAh hour battery, a MediaTek Dimensity 8050 processor, and some impressive camera specifications, which we will talk about later in the video. It has a very unique design and a leather back that gives off a very high-end and premium feel. The Camon 20 Pro 5G has plenty going on for it beyond what I've already mentioned. In this video, I will unbox and share my impressions of the Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G. What's up guys, it's Victor here again. As always, I will leave timestamps in the video descriptions so you can jump to the section that most interests you. Please subscribe if you are not and don't hesitate to ring the bell to be notified whenever I post another video like this one. The Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G is a member of the Camon 20 series which consists of the baseline Camon 20, the Camon 20 Pro, this Camon 20 Pro 5G and the top of the line Camon 20 Premier. But in this video, our focus will be on the Camon 20 Pro 5G. Before we delve into the Camon 20 Pro 5G, we should look at the retail package and what comes in the box. The box itself is a solid two-piece suit with a sturdy and eye-catching exterior. And there is some shiny blue foil going across the waistline. This is a premium package. Opening the box reveals the phone itself. The next compartment has the 12 plus 1 month warranty card from Techno. Next, we have a protective case for the phone made of TPU and polycarbonate that nicely covers the device and gives it an accentuated look. Next is a 33 watt charger brick. In a small box, we have the SIM ejection pin. You also get a USB Type-C to USB-A cable in the box for charging and data transfer. It is about a meter long. Finally, there is a pair of earphones here. The phone has every accessory including a charger brick and a screen protector is already pre-installed. It might not be as resilient as a tempered glass shield, but it is also less smudgy than the ones that come pre-installed on some other phones. Techno doesn't really have a unified look or design language, but there are still some notable visual similarities between the Camon 20 and Spark 10 series and other recent Techno series. This year, the camera array and boxy look we've seen so far seem to be giving off some iPhone vibes. On the back, there are three cameras and assortment of LED lights are placed all around the third camera. If you get the Camon 20 Premier, which cost a lot more than this, you get an additional lens for laser focusing. The Camon 20 Pro is compact and has a leather back techno refers to as magic skin. It is very noticeable and has a premium feel and touch to it. The camera platform is made of wear resistance 2.5D nanocrystalline ceramic. This camera cutout shape is unique in a special way. The Camon 20 Pro is easy to hold, feels balanced and isn't at all heavy. The bezels around the display are slim and equal on opposite sides. The Techno Camon 20 Pro is available in two color options, this dark welkin color and serenity blue. Camon 20 Pro 5G has an IP53 water and dust resistance rating and this should be the first time a Techno Camon device has received such a rating. Overall, this is a solidly built device, well designed, well done Techno. In terms of connectivity, the Camon 20 Pro 5G as the name suggests, it's a 5G device. You've got a USB-C port for data transfer and charging, Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, NFC with Google Pay support, GPS and nearby sharing. It is a dual SIM device with two nano SIM slots and a space for a memory card when you flip the SIM tray. The Camon 20 Pro 5G comes equipped with a 6.6 inches AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. This equates to approximately 395 pixel per inch. The selfie camera sponge hole is located in the display along with the fingerprint sensor which is very accurate but not the fastest available. And it makes sense to have an in-display fingerprint sensor because the Camon 20 Pro 5G has an AMOLED panel. I had no trouble using the phone outside because the display is bright, crisp, vivid and clear. It is actually a 120Hz display and it is very smooth in terms of scrolling. You also have the option to restrict the refresh rates to either 60Hz or 90Hz or 120Hz or you can put it at auto so that it can regulate itself automatically depending on what's going on on the screen. You can also adjust the color profile or color style and the color temperature. The Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G has a touch sampling rate of 360Hz which means when you are playing games, it will not drop frames and will also give you a very smooth experience while tapping the screen very frequently. Hi guys, now would be a really good time to subscribe to my channel. If you've not, I would really appreciate that. Now let's go back to the Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G. This phone has a big 5000mAh battery pack, the MediaTek Dimensity 8050 processor here. In collaboration with that 5000mAh battery pack means you have a lot of screen on time with this device because the Dimensity 8050 processor is a very efficient chip. 
As expected, the Camon 20 Pro is a powerhouse. I was able to get a whole day of proper phone use without charging the phone. And when I did charge it, I got about 49% in 30 minutes with the bundled 33 watt charger brick in the box. The Camon 20 Pro has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte of storage space, and it has the same MediaTek Dimensity 8050 processor as the Camon 20 Premier. The MediaTek Dimensity 8050 chipset is manufactured using a seasonal new meta process. It is a 5G chipset that supports 4K video recording and dual 5G SIMs. Additionally, you can get up to 8 gigabyte of virtual RAM thanks to Tecmo's MEM Fusion technology. The Camon 20 Pro 5G is swift, responsive, and fluid in daily use, you are getting more than enough performance for day-to-day -day apps and games. The Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G has two loudspeakers, one on top and one on the bottom, making for a stereo sound setup. The speaker is loud and clear, but it lacks weight in the lower frequencies. It also has two microphones for clearer audio doing calls. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing the microphone of the Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G. Particularly in the Camon line of smartphones, Techno offers interesting camera configurations. This is also true for the Camon 20 Pro 5G. It has a 64 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the front, there is a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Images and videos taken in the dark turned out much better thanks to the very bright LED flashlight on both sides. I also like that the lens is big enough to make realistic bokeh blurs without using the camera's portrait mode. The 108 megapixel Camon 20 Premier camera has something called a sensor shift OIS system, which is a type of image stabilization system that stabilizes the sensor rather than the lens to produce steadier shots. However, regardless of which model you pick, the Camon 20 Premier or this Camon 20 Pro 5G, you will get an RGBW sensor, which replaces part of the green pixel of a traditional RGGB with white pixels. The benefit of this is the better quality of white light captured by the sensor. RGBW produces a pure, warm, and natural white color, while RGGB creates a bluish white light by opening all color channels. I don't know if that makes sense, but pictures from the Camon 20 Pro 5G look beautiful, especially under sufficient light outdoors with plenty of detail and nice skin tones, but they have a certain softness and retouching to them, especially in skin texture. For videos, the Camon 20 Pro 5G can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second and full HD videos or 1080 videos at 60 frames per second with the rear camera. The front camera can shoot 2K videos at 30 frames per second and 1080 videos at 60 frames per second. The device also uses electronic image stabilization in addition to optical image stabilization to further reduce shakiness, but doing so results in a reduction in available frame space. You have various beauty tools here to add makeup and bokeh blur to your video. With Techno's proprietary HiOS 13.0 on top, the Camon 20 Pro 5G runs the most recent version of Android, that's Android version 13. With a few intermittent coverage here and there, Techno has been improving its own skin for a while, which I've generally found to be quite good but overwhelming. This is mostly due to the pre-installed bloat and advertisements. That is still the case with this Camon 20 Pro 5G. You have a lot of pre-installed apps and features that you may or may not need. I found some software features on the Camon 20 Pro 5G to be quite helpful though, and that includes the new AI noise remover so you can make clearer phone calls, game mode, the smart panel, app twin, music and call gestures, and social tubo, which can change your voice, enhance your face during WhatsApp video calls, record your WhatsApp calls, and allow you to read messages without marking them as read. That's some GB WhatsApp behavior. There is also multi-window functionality here for floating windows and so many more features, many nifty features. iOS 13.0's interface has been updated with new designs including some stunning always-on display designs. Swiping down from the right side of the screen reveals the quick settings panel, while swiping down from the left reveals the notification shade. Swiping from the right edge of the lock screen reveals what looks like a widget page, making the calculator, notes app, music player, FM, sound recorder, and timer accessible from the lock screen. Very convenient stuff. The Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G will be available for 199,900 Naira in Nigeria. 
The Camon 20 Pro is available for 155,400 Naira. The Techno Camon 20 Premier 5G is available for 295,500 Naira. Why the baseline Camon 20 will be sold for 133,300 Naira. These are the recommended retail prices from Techno at the time of recording this video. It packs enough value for the price. It obviously does. A water resistance phone, dual speakers, dimensity 8050, up to 16 gigs of RAM, a 5000 milliamps hour battery, and so many more are what you are getting for about 200,000 there. I absolutely think that's crazy and that's a good buy. If you really need more performance from a phone, you really need more features like that additional laser focus lens or more megapixels for your camera. Then you can go for the Camon 20 Premier 5G, which is about 300,000 Naira. So that's a 100,000 Naira difference. But for what it's worth, I think this will be the most popular smartphone in this Camon 20 series because it sits very nicely between affordability and value. With that said, this has been my unboxing and review of the Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G. Please subscribe, like, and share this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to watch any of the other videos sitting very pretty on your screen right now. Thanks for watching this one, guys. I'll see you when I see you in the next one. Bye.